going on guys? Tom Fisherman Jay here. Today we are at this very tiny pond that I found on Google Earth. It's literally, I don't know, probably 50 yards from point to point. I could probably cast across the whole entire thing. But we're gonna try a new spot, see how this turns out. It could possibly be a honey hole. It might not be, but let's see what we can pull out of here. Oh my God, we just got smacked. Literally the first cast, first cast out here, we got smacked. I got the Gambler Big Easy on, just as like a search bait to see if there's anything out here that might hit it. I'm uh, casting it just subsurface, or I'm, uh, I'm reeling it in just subs subsurface, and there we go. Second cast, boys. What is it? What is it? Second cast. There we go. Decent sized largemouth bass on the second cast. All right, so Google Earth is paying off once more. We got this guy. Wow, uh, second cast on the that buddy right there. I don't know the exact color of this uh, Gambler Big Easy. I think it's in shad, I'm not too sure. There we go, I'd say about a pounder. These guys are super healthy. I think I just found a new little uh, new little honey hole. I'm gonna let him go. There he goes. Wow, catch number one. Been here for like, no lie, probably four minutes. Let's get him. Oh no. Oh, I had a nice hit, guys. I had a really nice hit. There we go. Oh, got one out of these pads. Little guy. Just a little guy. This pond is doing pretty well. I've been here for about a half hour. Got two on land and I got about two bites that I lost. They're really healthy fish. I mean, they're not of size, but they're super healthy. Put them back. For as small as this pond is, it's doing pretty well. another one out of the pads again literally pretty much like the twin of the last one but man they are crushing it right now they're killing it this one is chunky oh got him right to the eye socket get this guy out as painless as possible there we go there we go his eye is fine you good? Yeah, you're good. That's the second one I got in these pads in a matter of minutes. I mean, Google Earth is really paying off right now. Here you go, buddy. What? Are you kidding me? I just dropped it in the... Oh, no! Guys, as soon as I dropped... No, I had a nice one on. As soon as I dropped it in the water, something just crushed it. No, as soon as I cast it, something grabbed it. I had no idea. When I went back to look at my line, I just saw my line swimming off. I didn't even know. And usually when, uh, when fish, I don't know, around here, if you don't feel that thump, usually when you feel that big thump, it's a small one but uh, usually the big ones will just grab it and then slowly swim off with it. I think that's what that was. And I missed it. Oh. 
Man, this guy felt like a five pounder. All right, buddy, calm down. <sighs> felt like a five pounder, but the lily pads did all the work, was all the weight. The little guy, right by this drainage pipe, not the size I wanted. But... See if we can get any by that fountain over there. I mean, the fountain's not on, but, oh, there's a bike. Yep, that's a bike. Oh, that's a better one. There you go, guys. You see structure? Oh, whoa. You guys see structure? Cast near it. Most likely, there is a fish by there. Decent one. Better one. I'd say about maybe, maybe a pound right by that uh, i don't know if you guys can see it there's like a little stone structure where a fountain would come out of and it's not on right now but this guy was just chilling right there you guys see those structures they like to uh hang out right on the edge there you go, buddy. Whew. oh here we go guys i gotta bite i gotta bite no no! 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 I have to get that fish before I leave. Many tic tacs later. All right, it's the next day, back at the same spot. I uh, I didn't want to give up last night. I ran out of daylight, but I got plenty of it now. I am back. I have a chatter frog with a uh, watermelon with red flake. Uh, big easy so we're gonna see what we can do with this I've actually already caught one fish on here and my camera wasn't on but we are here and we're going to try and pull out a few more fish kind of tall yeah I know it figures <laughs> thank you no problem pretty upset about that lure <laughs> Here we go. Oh, he bit it right at the shore. Solid one. Literally bit it probably three, or two or three feet off the bank. Wow, barely hooked. I'm using the Chatter Frog with a Gambler Easy Swimmer in uh, purple haze, I believe is the, the color. This guy just came and crushed it. Decent size. Really, really healthy fish. Let's put him back. Nose. Whoa! Here we go, guys. Oh! He just demolished it. He hit it like a freight train. Oh my. He's not a giant, but. Whew. Wow, this setup is just crushing it. You guys, the chatter frog with these, these easy swimmers is just demolishing it. Look at that. He hit it like a train came out of nowhere he has a fat belly on him these fish are extremely healthy if you guys do have a chance if you guys have a chance to try out this setup right here i would highly suggest it it's not my first time trying this setup but it's my first time in a while and i forgot how good it is oh my let's put this guy back Whew.
That one had a lot of fight in him. All right, guys, that is all the time I have here today. Now, I came back and caught a few more. This spot is really, really cool. I'm definitely gonna come back. It just goes to show that you cannot judge a body of water before you fish it. Now, this is an extremely small body of water. Uh, like I said, I saw it online on uh, Google Earth. And I decided to try it out and there is fish in here and there's some pretty decent sized ones too. So um, I urge you guys get online, find some spots and get outdoors and fish those spots. You guys are gonna have a fantastic time doing it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you enjoy the content that I create for you. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you later.